uh, the doctor did. So I will discuss uh, uh, a little part of some uh, concept in calculating uh, for uh, pulling power characteristics. So uh, a method uh, given by uh, our report is uh, the Chevy Chef method of integration. So uh, this is very overwhelming, don't you think? <laughs> So, uh, so you can see the equation here, uh, AAV over L is equal to the, uh, the, integ uh, the, yes, the, <laughs> the, the, integral. Uh, the integral. integral of, <laughs> integral of uh, the BT over uh, H W minus H. So, um, for allowing the equation, we have uh, the difference in uh, temperature T1 minus T2 over 4 times the reciprocal of the, uh, uh, the NLP difference. Okay, so, uh, so basically that's uh, the that's the general view of uh, Chebyshev method of integration. So later on, uh, we will discuss further some equations that we could use in calculating the pulling power. So for the next part, okay, so uh, let us just take this uh, on a lighter note. Or here are some parameters that uh, we should consider in uh, that uh, we have already studied or that we will study in uh, pulling power. So the first one is the pulling rate. Okay, so the cooling range is the difference in temperature between the hot water entering the entering the tower and the cold water leaving the tower. So, uh, so uh, as like what we have studied in uh, uh, Chevron 53, uh, an increase in the inlet in the water inlet flow rate uh, would will increase the cold water temperature, thus uh, decreasing the cooling range. The next, another parameter is the approach. So, an approach is uh, uh, can be calculated by the equation delta T is equal to the temperature of the cold water leaving minus the temperature of the wet bulb. Okay, and uh, it is also the drive required for water evaporation. Okay. Uh, so, we can say that the uh, cooling should be uh, uh, greater than or equal to the tertiary approach. Okay, so, and it is also directly proportional to the cooling range. And uh, we can say that uh, increasing the water flow rate would increase the cooling approach value at constant 12 bulb temperature. So, uh, and the next parameter is the makeup and circulation. So, makeup. Okay, so that is not your usual makeup in further. So makeup is the amount of water required to replace the normal losses caused by lead off, drip, and evaporation. So and uh, another one is recirculation. Recirculation is the process wherein the part of discharged air enters back into the suction air. So uh, uh, and the uh, next parameter is the drip and drip loss. So a while ago we. You have heard something about drift. So a drift is the entrained water in the tower discharge vapors. And uh, drift loss typically varies between uh, 0.1 and 0.2% of the water supply to the tower. And uh, drift loss can be computed by the by the product of drift, drift loss percent and the inlet water. The inlet water. And uh, the unit the unit for this is the uh, volumetric flow rate. The next parameter is the blowdown. So blowdown, uh, it is a discard, discard uh, portion of the concentrated circulating water due to evaporation. So uh, it lowers the system solids concentration. So, and uh, blowdown is calculated according to the number of cycles of concentration of ratio of dissolved solids in the circulating water over the makeup. So uh, you can see here in the equation, uh, WB is equal to WC that divided by the cycles minus one. So that 
to see it well. And next, we have here the Stacking Air Horsepower or SAH. What's, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> 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 So, so is Q times uh, <laughs> times uh, HS or the static head in uh, in a water times the density of water at ambient depth, uh, which is expressed in pounds per cubic foot over the uh, over three thousand three hundred times. So that is the and, and the last parameter, the last one, is the evaporation loss. So evaporation loss is the water water quantity evaporated for cooling for cooling duty. So theoretically, evaporation quantity works out to 1.8 meter cube for every 1 million uh, 1 million kilocalorie calorie being projected. So evaporation loss is. Uh, equal to uh, 0 0.00085 times 1.8 times the recirculation uh, times the circulation rate in meter cube times P1 minus P. So the value that we will get there is expressed in meter cube per hour. And um, P1 and minus P2 there is the difference between the inlet and the outlet temperature. Okay, so wait. Okay, so uh, uh, from figure 12.12-12 12 uh, Paris 7th edition, uh, we have discussed in Cheva type 3, right? Uh, so do you remember this type? Yes, yes. Okay, so this diagram. So. <laughs> As you remember, <laughs> as you remember uh, this is the range part from this point to this, from this point, this point to this point. So here is the hot water temperature. This is the the temperature uh, entering the tower, and the cold water temperature. This is the portion of uh, where the cold water leaving the tower. So, and this portion is your upper So, uh, for the next part of our report, uh, she will discuss about the equations involved in cooling tower, and she is, might 